Yes. Good evening from Singapore. This is Dr. Deepak Vaikar. My presentation is on smart education amid uncertainty, pandemic, and beyond. It, this is my email address, and those who wish to continue to interact with me, I have been also given my contact number. Okay. I would like to take blessing of Goddess Saraswati before we start. So, Om Saraswati Namastubhyam Varde Kamarupini Vidyarambam Karishami Siddhir Bhavatu Mesada. Okay. I'm invoking the blessing of Goddess Saraswati for making this conference and my presentation successful. Whatever I'm going to share with, is, with you is based on my personal study, research, interaction, and, ex, and interactions with the experts and observation. And if you wish to make any decision to contact us, I have given my contact number and WhatsApp number. Agenda for today is current perception. What is the expectation of smart education? Proposed smart model, role of automation, AI and analytics and AR. Summary and conclusions. Okay. Now just in a chat box, you would like to put what is your feeling about the term smart education? That is the topic. Now, having advanced technology and gadgets with you, does it make it smart education? Or just because we have got smart cities, does it make it make it a smart education? Just we deploy all those small smart gadgets. Will it make the education smart? It's all smart communication networking. Will it make education smart? That has been the question, okay? Using smart devices could be one of them. And we know that we have facing disruptions of disruptions, including climate crisis, that is uncertain world. We were already in vicious, VUCA, volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous scenario. To that added what is known as Corona effect which massively disrupted traditional education system in an unprecedented way, okay? And unprecedented for almost two years, we had to face that coronomics. And still it is going on. That is why they call it corona education, corona education. You know, how we, we will take care of it? Yes, it was what we call quickly grapple Post, post online remote teaching. That was the one has been happening since almost March 2020. Lockdown, the great lockdowns, we know it, okay, because of that. And our, our all professors and teachers have turned into remo facers, remo chairs. Okay? And those who have got devices, Good quality, they had advantages. And those who were working for it, they were in surprise. They were trying to understand. And obviously, even people like him is not giving up. Then question arises, are colleges, institutions, and universities becoming outdated and in irrelevant in view of advances in technology? They put in chat box and is there therefore need for alternative education model that can flourish that is the question obviously everybody talks about smart which has been used in management literatures specific measurable achievable result oriented and time bound yeah and which has become i think now not outdated also what we did was we carried out some research, interacted with okay, faculty members, educators, education managers, even students, other stakeholders, industries also. And based on that, we came up with attributes of smart education, we have smart education 5.0. So first attribute, they say it should be sustainable. We know what has happened to disruption just now. It, it needs to be market driven, okay? Market driven. Accountable. Accountability at various stages. 
then resourcefulness, like how to adjust to this one. Okay, everybody was resorting to online, and there was a digital divide, transformative in nature. So these are the five attributes we recommended. We call them patch pond of five warriors. All of you know that now there is a war is going on between Ukraine and Russia. So we need warrior education also. We were we are on war footing to combat this pandemic. Therefore, we need warriors. And these are the five warriors or Panch Panda, okay? And based on that, we can now design our education, smart education, design or redesign, as long as we are able to incorporate those Panch Panda. Delivery mechanism, okay? Smart delivery mechanism could be different. Now, now we can go for hybrid also if needed. Management also need to be smart, okay? Assessment also need to be smart. Assessment, outdated assessment has to be discontinued. And most important, leadership needs to be smart leadership. That is what we are saying, Panch Panda, five warriors. So in every aspect of education that will make education smart. Design, delivery, management, assessment, and leadership. Okay, and for that purpose, obviously for management, we need mentorship, very important part about it. Mentorship, training, motivation, advice, success, direction, coaching, support, and goal, goal setting. All these are needed. So, Pash Pando with mentoring, okay? So typically, Pash Pando with Sri Krishna is there, then we can we will be able to overcome the challenges, okay? So, as I mentioned, Attributes of smart education, five, sustainable, market-driven, accountable, resourceful, transformative, and we need mentoring. Without that, it won't be successful. A question arises, they say, yes, you have got this smart education model. How are you going to incorporate in the key multidisciplinary holistic features of national education policy 2020 in curriculum of undergraduate degree courses? Okay, how, 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 that has been the question. Okay, national education policy. Yes, we can do it. We can integrate multidisciplinary and holistic education to design a foundation bachelor's degree program, foundation program, which is based on project-based learning, project-based internship. Okay, not just for any other thing. Community service, soft skill, entrepreneurship. You name it. Okay, whatever it is it has to be part of it, not enrichment activity. Then okay. just not mere electives, not just major, minor, double, not double degrees, okay, uh, interdis interdisciplinary projects. Now, now, what we want is systematically designed multidisciplinary holistic. And then other aspects like sports, arts, drama, music, values, ethics, they are not mere extracurricular activities now they have to be part of it it means it must be created properly designed bachelor's degree program bringing humanity and dharma that is what it will make it multidisciplinary holistic education in smart with smart attributes and for that purpose obviously we have to go back to one of the most powerful doctrine what's called master disciple Doctorate. Yes. Disciple is at the center, but still master is needed. Guru Kul Siddhanta, we call it knowledge, skill, ability, greed. Knowledge, skill, ability, greed. On X axis, there is a knowledge, Y axis, there is a skill. All of them are mentioning about it. We need knowledge and skill, good combination. Green quadrant is a bachelor's degree. Everywhere, bachelor's degree, learning, bachelor's degree. Whereas blue quadrant is a doer's us where industry is there. This is the industry and orange quadrant is for the knower, those where we have got educators. So we have got industry here, industries here and educators here. And there is a gap. This is where they say there is a gap. That gap has to be filled up and that is where the role of guru or master will come. And if you combine with that our guna or okay, skills, ability, ability, okay, which are rajasic, tamasic, and sattvic, okay, the rajas sattvic, if you can get it here, then we can implement this knowledge, skill, ability, greed to achieve whatever we want to design smart education. 
yes industry 4.0 has given various gadget 5g is now getting ai is there ai vr analytics now they can be integrated that is there is a role for that okay how yes now our as i mentioned another term i'm introducing we are going now we can introduce robo fisher robo fisher or robo char whatever the routine matters can be passed on to robo fisher which can then do 24/7 to learn no bot robo robo fisher will teach routine okay standard standard education part smartly to learn no bots whereas we the professor potential role for we the professor teacher is to become okay like this you can see we have got all the gadget like you are seeing my gadget here okay we have got the smartphones analytics devices and what we'll do we'll pass on the domain knowledge to the robo professor if needed directly we'll also pass on through iot's and learning management system any special knowledge intervention and all routine ones will be given by robo fisher here we can use all iot's and ai's to make it more powerful and also ar and vr ar vr analytics so we becomes a to chamber as a professor the routine jobs are passed on so we can focus on higher level bringing in critical thinking and other aspect needed by the industry that is what the smart education model looks like then we have seen now earlier students used to come from home the college and university yes after relaxation now that is again happening all of them want there but now what was happening during this time colleges and universities were going to homes and community they were going out there and again homes and communities coming to colleges now that is where now there is a challenge now we if you go back to the old normal then we are going to face same kind of disruption our assets which will be stranded unnecessary investment so proposed model can bring democratization of higher education uncertainty in during um, okay uncertainty pandemic can be on because now universities colleges can go to homes and communities and we should now utilize that what we were doing it now we can how we can hybridize the education hybridize the education that is what the hybridization of education okay democratization of education that is what is needed and for that is the vision that is the vision learning and beyond reimagining learning and beyond that is where smart education amid okay, amid uncertainty pandemic and beyond this is the model we are proposing it and we invite all of you obviously if you want to take something there is a need for action plan now this can be transformed into action plan we at aju ed energy prof offer such programs such consultancy and workshop so that transformation in education can happen feel free to contact us those who are interested to interact with me with linkedin i have got 29990 members already plus i will still accept those are very keen to learn about the things i have just mentioned in this keynote another very popular program we conducted integrated multidisciplinary holistic education how to design systematically i have shown you there okay but how to do that properly we will show you synergizing project based learning and design thinking okay how we can do that synergization yes i have conducted such workshop who sir is interested please contact us we will have will be happy to do that for you and most important knowledge skill ability trilemma which will take us to the education 5.0 yes as a ieee education society singapore chapter we are promoting it will be very happy to smart education amidst uncertainty pandemic and beyond that is what we brought to you we really appreciate your time and we are very happy to mention that this has been 
one of our goals to achieve smart education amid uncertainty pandemic and beyond thank you very much for giving me opportunity to share with you some of my views you are most welcome to contact me at this email address and whatsapp number all the best to the remaining session for the conference have a nice day